What is up, guys? This is the Sage, and I have got a battle with the Pokemon Baller, because he's a fucking baller. And um, his link is in the description. Check him out after this battle, and let's go. So he leads off with his Warble, and I lead off with my Claydol, like I usually do. And he goes for the Brave Bird. I'm like, okay, I can take a Brave Bird. But I'm looking at the damage, and like, yo, this thing is totally banded. So as I go for the Stealth Rocks, I'm like, all right, let's switch out, go into my Gatron. And let's hope that it doesn't do more than half so I can just recover off the damage. So it goes to the Brave Bird on the switch of, like, obviously. But it goes over half, and I'm like, alright, thanks to Leftovers, I'll be at 222. And I'll be able to survive at least one more. And I do with two fucking HP, which is just fucking awesome. So I go for the recover, and I get all of it, all of it back. Just every single piece of health, plus more, thanks to Leftovers. So I'm like, I'm gonna be that faggot, and I'm gonna like, uh, what's it called? Recoil stall him out, because I don't even do it that much. I don't even do it. Thanks, I don't even know how to say it. That's how I do it. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep going and going and going until he thinks. It's only been like two Brave Birds, so I know he's gonna die soon. So I go for the recover on the last Brave Bird, and get my HP back up higher than it used to be when he Brave Bird it. Like, I don't know, maybe by 100 HP? No, not at all. Maybe like 50 or 60. But whatever. Forget about that. So he goes into his Infernape, and I'm like, uh, let's, why would he go on to, like, why would he do that? So I switch out to my clay, clay doll to see why he would do that, and he goes for the fucking grass plot. It's a fucking nasty plot, Nate. And I'm like, damn. That's, that's different. I'll clap to you for that. But, um,. He sees my Arcanine, and he sees the name, so he's like, I can't fucking live a move that this guy's gonna do. So I go for the extreme speed, but he switches out, goes into his Ginger, and I'm like, uh, fuck. So I switch out, go into my Swampert. Oh yeah, and I'm sorry for the crit, because I, I forgot to say that. But he knew that I was gonna switch out, so he goes for the Stealth Rocks and the Switch, which is a great play on his part, because now it's gonna limit the times I can bring in my um, Arcanine. But I switch out, go into my Swampert and stuff like that. He sees that I'm a Swampert. And I predict the switch, go for the toxic, knowing that he'd go into something that could take like a water or ice move. And it luckily it was Pringles, because Pringles would fuck me over this match if I didn't toxic it. And you'll see why later. So I was like, alright, maybe he'll just go for the Willow Wasp or something. Willow Wasp. I'm gonna call it that. And but instead he goes for the toxic, and I'm like, shit, this is gonna just suck more for me. So I'm gonna switch out, go into my blast rate. Blastoise and pray to God that my HP grass can do enough so that even if um even if I can't one hit KO it out the toxic will take it out. So as I switch out I see he goes for the protect. I'm like fuck this is a um what is it called? Uh toxic stall. And I go for the hidden power grass. I'm choice specs and that still didn't do a lot. And I'm like, oh that's sad. And he's able to get a toxic off on me. But I mean it's alright. So um I switch out thinking that he'd go for like some move I don't even remember but um he switches out as well and goes into his ginger and I'm like whoa he probably thought that was hidden power electric it's hidden power grass I would have killed out grit ginger but um I'm like I know he's gonna switch out again because he wants his ginger he knows he can take out my heart canine with his um ginger so I'm like let's go for the earth power I mean the ice beam anyway but Thanks to my stealth rocks, I'm gonna be able to take out Pringles, and he is gone not to fucking annoy me anymore. So, he goes into his Infernape, and I'm like, fuck the grass nut, I don't give a fuck, I know I can live one, I'm a fucking swamper. But he over predicts, and goes for the nasty block, and I go for the earth power, and take out his Infernape. So, that's good for me, bad for him. I know how he feels, I am terrible at fucking over predicting like that, this sucks. When, you, when it happens, you're just like, holy shit, why'd I do that? So he switches out, goes into his Rock Lobster, and I'm like, why? Why did you name him that? I named that shit first. Why? <sighs> so he goes to the Spikes, and I go for the Toxic, knowing that no, I don't have Surf or anything on this, so I can't, like, hurt it that bad. So I'm like, okay, let's just Earth Power him until he dies. So I go for the Earth Power, and he goes for a second layer of Spikes, and yeah, Earth Power doesn't it does a good chunk especially since i barely have it i do have circle evs but i mean i'm not positive nature or anything like that so 
he's gonna live just enough, just enough, to let up another layer of spikes, just to finish it off and stuff. But I'm gonna finish him off with my earth power, and because of the toxic, I'm just gonna die, because there's no way I can live like five turns of toxic at like 130 HP. So he switches, goes into his Terrakion, I'm sorry, I'm right after school, this shit. I don't know, I'm just mad. But I'm happy that I'm here narrating this for you guys. So, he goes into Terrakion, I go into my Afro Bro. He goes to the Sword Dance, predicting that I'm gonna like switch out or something like that. I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, because I mean, I know that if he had a close combat, I'm gonna be, I would be able to take him out. But, you know, he went for the Sword Dance, whatever. So, I mean, why not hit him with an Earthquake before I die? So yeah, I die. No chance of me living that shit at all. And thanks to the life orb, no, oh, I mean even even without the life orb, I could take it out thanks to the minus one the defense and no needed for special defense. But I could take it out. Doesn't matter that it resists because these things aren't that bulky. But he goes into his ginger, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'll just go for the extreme speed here, finish him off with my Vernetric. Because I kind of felt bad for the crit, so I'm like, you know what, here, you can take out my cane just because I critted you. So, he's gone, and I'm like, alright, I'll finish off the match with my Manectric, because that's all I have left now. So, I go for the overheat, just because overheat is just a fucking boss move on a Manectric. And, takes out the Ginger, that was his last Pokemon. So that is good game baller, comment, like, subscribe, check him out, everything, and later guys.